President gave very important statement and he took notice of slow processing of IMA. He told IMA is not processing in a faster way. He told that uh, migration, um, immigration, uh, migrants are much worried. And he also told I am aware of every single point regarding migration. This is very important uh, news that uh, president took notice of slow processing of IMA, huge backlog of applications, TRC cards, people were not getting, people protest in front of IMA offices and people were just um, uh, contacting IMA again and again when our TRC card will come, when emails will come, when biometrics will be conducted. These all problems now took, are taken up by the president of the Portugal. President of Portugal clearly told that I am aware of all current situation regarding migration, especially Asian peoples who are here in our country and they are waiting for their results and he insisted IMA, he ordered IMA. Technically he is the president of Portugal so he can order and he, you know that all laws are finally approved by the president. President in the Portugal government in their law, president has huge power even more than prime minister. So you know that when any law is approved it is parliament uh, first of all parliament discussion take place after parliament discussion that law uh, sorry that discussion has been approved by the parliament then prime minister sign and then finally it goes to president of portugal so president of portugal has huge power this statement from powerful authority like uh, president of portugal is a very good news for especially uh, immigrants IMA currently took very good step of sending emails of one year but I think uh, president is not talking about current step president is talking about previous before that emails so there are now two pressures on IMA number one president of Portugal number two government government also insisting that IMA objectives are not uh, achieved and over objectives uh, over people objectives uh, over even last government objectives uh, to uh, form IMA that they will ease the processing, they will reduce the gap in the gap between migrants and the IMA department, IMA officers and people will be more satisfied and people will get their results soon, either positive or negative, they will get their results soon and most important, they were talking about that people will get their results uh, in the form of TRC card or in the form of biometric. It is very uh, uh, absurd to note a lot of people gave uh, their uh, renewal of I, renewal of the TRC biometric at IRN and they were waiting uh, for four to six months. Similarly, the people who gave biometric, they are not getting results even six months, seven months, even if IMA want to refuse, if IMA want to give control, if IMA is not satisfied from the document, at least result must be given so the time of the migrants should be saved and if he lack any documents, he lack any taxes, if his company is not registered, if his name is in SIS, he should hire good lawyer and he should come back to the IMA with new case so that he can he can approve his TRC card. So this delaying tactic uh, of genuine and non-genuine people are really hitting migrants so much. So uh, this uh, president statement clearly came when IMA cleared uh, that we had huge backlog of application. Almost more than 400,000 they are telling, but reports are telling the current backlog is almost 500,000. And that 500,000 digit also I'm talking about three, four days back, it is even more than 500,000. So if the people are uh, more than 500,000 are waiting, I'm a uh, straightforward blame SAF. SAF did not uh, clear the backlog. But my point is one, during the conversion of data from SAF to IMA, the backlog was 200,000. I think 300,000 was increased by IMA. Reason clear. After March, they stopped email. After September 2022, they stopped email. They were not renewing cards. They were not delivering card. They were not analyzing card. They were whenever any person wanted to get information, they were just telling, we don't know your processing. 
with which type of department which type of processing that this is analysis going on whole year but there are some positive news as well i must send emails now by software and by it uh, by information technology specialists they took services and now they are switching their most of the uh, work in digital and digitalization of their processing might reduce the processing time but uh, portugal president is telling that uh, before these emails your action of almost three to four months four to five months uh, you took charge from the SAF. Uh, your work was not uh, up to the mark so president uh, told you must increase the speed of the processing of the immigration you must deliver trc card soon you must conduct biometric interview you must follow standards of 60 days 90 days remember portugal law is that if you are going to get trc card you have to get under 60 days and portugal law is that if you want to get uh, renew the card you need uh, to get trc in 60 working days and if you are getting first time TRC card after biometric in Portugal's law, 90 days working days are required. But all standards were uh, shunned and they were not followed and all standards uh, were shaken of Portugal's law. And now judges were deciding and people were going to the court and judges were writing in their letter that Mr. Aima, Aima mean Aima department, sorry, I'm just telling Mr. Aima, but this is just a joke. Mr. Aima, you must give TRC in 60 days. This is our law and you are not giving. This is the order by the judge and they are giving uh, a court order. Now Aima was compelled in some cases, but how many individuals can go to the court? How many individuals can pay the fee through the lawyer? All people cannot be. Remember in Portugal, Asian people especially, they are very poor and they had no money to pay the money to the lawyer. So each individual cannot go to the lawyer. Best option that Aima must, must follow the standards. But in the meantime, this step of sending emails of almost one year by, uh, by simultaneously, by auto-generated email, it was a substantial and very good step. But still, the confusions are, are they able to handle huge biometrics? What are their planning? My uh, analysis is only one. If they switch their biometric to online system, they will be successful and they will shun the claims from the president and from the prime minister and from the parliament, from the people of the Portugal. But if they will do manual, manual mean it mean that all their biometric processing they will do manual it's very difficult to handle huge backlog of applications if they can send email they must understand from this point if they can send email of one year simultaneously they must start their digital digitalization in the biometric as well otherwise one system is digital other system is not digital that once again the people will be uh, in, a, in, 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 in a dilemma that email arrived but I am not getting biometric appointment. I got biometric appointment but they are refusing, they are not attending the calls. They got biometric appointment, they are not getting TRC card because one system is digital, other system must also be digital to compensate. Otherwise, there will be another circle, another circle will be over the head because all people will say email received so email keyword will finish from the YouTubes that will be uh, all persons will be able to say that we received email but we over processing is not being done by IMA because IMA next phase is not manual and IMA is not able to handle is not able to handle how they will call how many people they will call better 90% processing they are telling themselves that we do 90% processing now by uh, by by the online uh, verifications and digitalization as they are doing in passport as well 10 percent they can do for example one person came for biometric you have checked everything just take his fingers and and decide you will give him trc card or you will not give him trc card so all things uh, is upcoming and we will keep observing everything keep watching world immigration news by Irfan. thank you very much